Blog Talk Radio. Welcome, welcome to Oracle Divination Network. You've got your Omienka 7 Live coming at you this evening. And what about your chi? And do you need to look at how you can improve your chi? We're talking about how hemp oil, the chi 3, can improve your chi. And we're doing wellness this uh, evening, ladies and gentlemen, health and wellness. This is our new series that we're embarking upon. This is our last session uh, for season season one as a kickoff, but we'll be starting our official season two for health and wellness on Tuesday, November the 11th, and we will be bringing in a guest speaker that will be uh, fancying the platform here in Oracle Divination Network. We are going to be laying down the foundation of health and wellness, and we're going to be appealing to the priests and priestesses and those spiritualists out there who have a practice and found that they have to build up their practice and develop a health and wellness program. So we're calling all of you practitioners, you priests and priestess, to the altar. Yes, we're calling you to the altar to talk about your pharmacy kitchen. What are you using to build up your chi? And we're going to be talking to you from that perspective. Hold for a minute as we go to commercial.
welcome back, welcome back, and why don't you give me those two thumbs up, and if you haven't signed up to be a follower, I want you to be more than just a friend, and we're stagnated on just a friend's relationship. I want you to go into being a follower and become a follower, and give me the two thumbs up, and tell somebody about my show. We're going into a brand new season, ladies and gentlemen, and this is season two. We're completing 40 episodes, and then we're going on to the next season. We, this will be our 40th episode, and Tuesday we will start in season two, all about health and alternative wellness. Now, I'm going to ask you, what is in your pharmacy kitchen? What are you using to build up your cheek? And what about your cheek? Do you realize that you have got to keep your momentum up? The season is right for elderly baby boomers, and we are doing the doggone thing. We're the new 50s, and we are taking care of ourselves. We are looking at pressing beyond 70, because they said that we would be given 70 years, possibly more. But most of us are living to function and to get out in the world beyond the 60s, and we're pushing the 70s. So I want to talk to you, priests and priestess, today. Can I talk to you? Can I get up close and comfortable with you? Being a priestess myself, I know that in the practitioner's world, when you're a practitioner, you need something to go in your medicine cabinet and something to go in your duffel bag. That is more than just a cup of tea. You need to talk about medicinals that have been ravenly off the page with research after research, this hemp oil, the cousin of marijuana, if you didn't know, it has been approved in most of the 50 states for medicinal health purposes. The CBD is what we've been ranting about. And I want to turn you on to my YouTube channel because I did a little talk about pharmaceutical products in your medicine cabinet in the kitchen. And we talked about sagam molasses and how healthy it is for building up that iron and your minerals. Now, this evening we're going to call in the priests and priestess that are out there. If you're out there in the audience and you have not got it together for your practitioner's license, you don't have enough products on your shelf that you can conceive as alternatives, if you're looking to sit with a group of priestess to talk about what are they doing for maintenance purpose, for evaluating clients to assess them mentally, morally, and spiritually. We are, are inviting you to come in to speak to our guest speaker on Tuesday. Uh, Tasha will be coming in to speak to us in reference to the product CBD. She is a salesperson and an educational consultant who is basically going to the areas out in the near north suburbs of Avon, where she is supplying product and putting it on the shelves. She's interacting with people who have taken the CBD successfully. She's working with children who have cerebral palsy, children who have various different mental disorders that are having seizures. She is providing these parents with the necessary educational training. And she has opted to come on my show for several settings to talk to the seniors about what we can do to help inform seniors and to get seniors to go into the CBD stores to get a lecture, to get a briefing, to get understanding of how CBD and hemp all work. And it's not something that, let me offer a disclaimer, we're not talking about a, a, a catch-all, a snake oil cure for everything. We're not talking about a cure. We cannot claim anything as a cure, and we will not pretend that we are a member of the bar, nor that we are an MD. We are merely talking about what? the priests and priestess could put in their medicine cabinet and use for consultation that are whole food additives. 
and we are alerting everyone to understand that we cannot offer you a cure for anything, but we are talking about health and wellness. How do you get there? When you are a senior and you have inflammation all over your body, your legs ache, and you experience an arthritis, and arthritis is getting the best of you, what do you do for everyday maintenance, for preventative maintenance, to prevent that inflammation from rising up? Well, there is a hemp oil that deals with the food, and I know it firsthand because I've been taking it to prevent any inflammation so that I'm not sore after a workout and that I can take it and feel confident that it's going to help me to freak out the fluids that are in my knees or in my joints. Now, for those priests and priestesses that are out there, I don't know how many of you are getting thorough training. I don't know if you're getting training in the alternative medicines and herbology or not. But when I was going through priesthood training, it was necessary that we took a little walk around the pharmaceutical kitchen to look at first our whole foods and to look at our box flowers and herbs and leafy categories to determine what are the food additives that we can actually feed a person to do preventative maintenance. And dandelion root was one of the very first things that I came in contact with. I made sure that I carried that into my adulthood because as a child, I can remember eating the dandelion leaves and having the dandelion flowers fried up as a delicatessen. It was a medicinal. And those of you who have not ever eaten dandelion leaves, you can go in your poultry department and your produce department, and you can find dandelion leaf being sold there. And I'm not telling you to go in your backyard and pull up all the dandelions that might have been sprayed. No, I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you to go to the supermarket to find dandelions. It could also be made into a tea. And also the shuck from the corn is one very good product as a child we used to consume as tea. Especially if someone was ill and you were trying to bring out the mumps or the measles to determine what was going on with the fever. Now, a lot of us run into the emergency room. Can we get uh, out? Can we get a fever? We must know our way around in the pharmaceutical kitchen to alleviate those trips to the emergency room. As you know, they are talking about our dual medical insurance, Medicare and Medicaid, and telling us all that they don't cover and all the things that you still have to pick up and the poor case. Heaven forbid if you have to go into the emergency room. Some of you are having to pay a deductible, a large hefty deductible, and if you have overnight stay in the hospital, some of you are paying a poor pay on a daily basis until that seventh day. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the uh, humanist products and what they do, because this is not what that show is about. We're not here to sell you on that, but what we are here to sell you on is good health, preventative maintenance. Because when I roll around for seven, I want to be able to get on this show and talk with my clear frame of mind, having the newest connect theory, the information across, my airways and my brain so that I don't just deal with short-term memory, but I have my long-term memory as well. I'm looking at the fountain of youth so we can develop ourselves as healthy individuals. Now, this is a pretty long way to just to get you ready for November the 12th, where Tasha will be coming in to talk to us about how is your key? Are you looking at developing a sense of happiness? Well, she can provide it with the key happiness. Are you looking to develop your uh, focusing ability? Then she can provide information on the key focusing. And then the school product that will soothe the information. Then finally, the natural 
that will take care of whatever is in balance in your body. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't want you to miss it. That's why I thought I was coming in here to give you a little freedom to kick this thing off to talk about our new episode that we're going into, our very first episode for season two. You don't want to miss it. You want to be right for a cell phone listening to the presentation. You will have questions and answers. And we are going to be about it now because we're getting our group together for the new season of the winter season coming on. We're going to do our preventative maintenance cleansing and get ourselves healthy for the weather change. As you know, the clock went up. And, well, literally it went back for us. And it gives you a little more time. So don't think the time won't slip upon you. You have got to make sure that you're doing your preventative maintenance. I don't mean running into the emergency room for every little alley. I know you've got your, your annual physical exam that you have to take. Now you have Medicare on it. They're on top of it. They're calling you. They're making appointments for you to come in and get your expensive physical exam. Not to mention your cardiology blood workup, and not to mention your uh, um, flu shot, and then they go on to the colonectomy type of testing, and, and, and many, many more. And they're giving you points now. There's a lot of places for coming in to get these preventative procedures. I think they're doing a great job, but I don't like the phone calls early in the morning when they're waking me up saying, hey, 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 this is your friendly humanity, and we're calling you. No, I want to be able to make some decisions about my own preventative health and what I want to do as preventative maintenance. I want to look at chiropractic. I also want to look at alternative doctors who do naturopathic medicine. Please, Humana, Medicare, Medicaid, please hear me on this. Give us an alternative to go and see an, uh, an, an apathetic medicine man. Give us an alternative where we can see a chiropractor and have a massage and have a aromatherapy. We're looking for natural things that are not invasive that we can take and benefit from. I want you to know this. So we are inviting you back for Tuesday. We'll meet you here front and center to talk with our guests who is an expert in the area who will bring us much technical information. So wear your technical hat because she's going to be throwing it at you. And whatever falls upon the wall, hopefully you'll be able to digest it. So come with your questions and answers. We are about to clean up your house so it is fit for the winter to prevent any type of disease from sneaking up on you so those white blood cells don't pop up and serenade your head as you have laceration. We want you to be able to be healthy. And that's what we're talking about, being healthy at a good old rightful age of a senior so that you can do the things that only do. I'm a senior, and I still get out there, and I still kick it up. And let's kick it up one more time as we get ready to see how we can get better health and what we could do to get better health. And don't forget to tell someone about my show because we're going to work it out. Let's work it out.
ladies and gentlemen, don't forget at five, actually at six o'clock on November the 12th, we will have our guest speaker here, and we will hope that you can join us to be able to bring your questions and answers about the product called CBD hemp oil. And we are going to provide as much educational information on this particular product as possible because we know it's been helping a lot of people. And we want to get the word out there. If you can, get the word out there and invite someone to my show. It will be November the 12th at 6 o'clock where our guest speaker will be giving us a platform for CBD and talking about what about your chi and how to improve your chi and how to build your chi. So let's not forget, support all me as I have supported you over the past 10 years. For those 110 followers who've successfully supported me continuously, I do love you, and there's nothing you can do about it because I said I love you. You have to determine if you want to love this show back. But here is something, some good medicine for you to take today. Tell someone about the show and come and ask questions. Support us in our effort to keep the community strong, especially those elders. We're focusing in on elders returning back to work. If you are an elder, I'm doing my next training on Elders Can Code 2, coding in the medical field, getting an understanding of anatomy and physiology, being able to code from your home, and purchasing your coding kit for the home, coding from the home, and learning how to do your review from an expert master teacher. So we're focusing in on the seniors. And don't forget about November the 11th, the Veterans Day. I'll be on that radio show to talk about veterans and what they mean to us. I am a retired teacher who spent time overseas as a civilian, and I do love to speak on our civilians and to give them the two thumbs up to go ahead. So make sure you listen to my show at 10 o'clock on November the 11th that we'll be focusing in on the veterans. We'll be giving uh, prompts to the, to the, uh, to the actual um, veterans and lifting up the two thumbs for our veterans. And let's not forget about those because every year I try to do something for the veterans. I am so proud of what they've done for us and standing on the front line. You should be too. So come out and join us on November the 11th and November the 12th. Until then, as we walk between you and me, make sure that you are reminded that good health is very important, and we're going to find that utopia this season during our 40th season as we talk about health and wellness. Do join us. Oh, double and bubble boy to you, y'all. Good evening, and we'll see you on November the 11th and the 12th. And remember, our guest speaker will be here. Tasha will be here on November the 12th at 6 p.m. Do join us. We're double.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 